everyone welcome back to my channel blocking with a purpose and I know it's been a very 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 long time I look back at my channel um, and I think I haven't vlogged in about what well, it says three months but I know it's been a long time and I'll tell you why in the midst of me telling you about everything else that has been going on with me normally when I do vlogging with a purpose I am um, vlogging with my camera, showing you guys basically a day in a life with me, my family, um, you know, on my other channel, Capri Spilling the Tea, lifestyle tips is all about basically what I just said, lifestyle tips about financial, uh, stability in your life and basically how I get through life on a budget and minimum pay. Well, I wouldn't say minimum pay. I'm just going to say real live pay, okay? Because some people swear they make a million dollars a second and whatever. So, anywho, I know that you guys are looking at my background like, okay, is she at somebody else's house? She has a different background. What's going on? So, I do want to start off with saying, yes, we are in our new forever home. We moved... Um, on the, actually, I signed the papers on the 20th of April. That was our closing date. So I tried to insert some footages, but I, we signed the papers on the 20th of April. Uh, we moved in, I think, like that weekend or so. That's when we moved in. So we only been here for about, uh, let's see, April, May, June, July. So about two months because it's June, what's today, the 22nd? Y'all know I don't keep up with the day. June 22nd. So yeah, so we've uh, literally been here for about two months now and two days. I'm very excited. Um, this is the house that I actually wanted that was kind of not in the budget, but it ended up being fit into the budget. Um, everybody knows on my other channel, Capri Spilling the Tea Lifestyle Tips, that it has been a process with you know the home home buying situation it has been a process i'm telling you guys like it's not hard but it is very tedious but if you have your money together your credit together it's not as tedious as it should be um if you guys have been following me on my other channel um capri spilling tea lifestyle tips uh, five out of ten I'm gonna post this also over there because I don't want to do like two videos so I'm gonna speak for both but if you've been following me over there then you will see the process that I have been going through with basically trying to get the home and us saving up money for the home and all this good stuff like that now if you're new to my channel and you just clicked on um, I do thank you um, I also want to explain why I always say I instead of we. Um, I am married, but I all, I'm the one that take care of the financial side. He never takes care of the financial side. He makes the money, it goes to the account, I disperse of it, I make all the, the big uh, decisions, basically. So you hear me a lot say I, but just know it stands for we because I am married, okay? Anywho, so after getting everything together, I don't know exactly where I left off on with you guys um, on Capri Spilling the Tea, but after getting everything together, um, finding the house that we wanted, basically it was just looking at the financial side, trying to see if we could actually pay for the home. Because just like I said, it was a little out of our budget, but then... Our mortgage guy had to see, okay, can you actually pay for the home because it wasn't in you guys' budget. So after verifying all that we could and that we were good, boom. Everything went through. The loan went through. The house was ours. Um, the thing that I was looking at, is there's this site that realtors look on. It's called MLS. And on the MLS site, that is where all the houses are posted. Now, until you and that person comes under contract, it stays on MLS. So it was killing me. And I think I told you guys this before. It was killing me because I kept asking my realtor, 
um, is the house off the of MLS? Are we under contract now? Um, you know, because only one person that I know of uh, looked at this house. And that's when they had like an open house and anyone could look at the, ho the home. And when me and my husband was coming in, they were walking out. And I heard the lady say, I really like this home. We need to put down, you know, a bid. And I was looking at her like, no, ma'am, this is my house. Okay. Um, other than that, that, that was the only thing that was really scarce. Like someone else looking at the home and purchasing the home. And I already, one thing about me, when I want it, I want it. Like, I don't care how much it costs. I want it. I'd rather be happy and live in a home that I really, really love than be saddened and live in a home that I really, really don't like, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm not going to go broke behind the home, but I am going to do my best, you know? So, anywho, uh, I am going to give you guys a, a house to home tour. To be completely honest, all the things that I said I was going to do, I was unable to do it. I wanted you guys to see the home when it had nothing in it. Um, but I ended up going last weekend around my husband's birthday, which was June. We left June 8th. We came back on my husband's birthday on June 10th. We ended up going to Memphis to go get all of our furniture and bring it back. So I was... I wasn't thinking, um, I didn't actually vlog the home empty before I put all my stuff in it. Um, I have a reason for that. And just like I said, I will let you guys know in the midst of me, you know, going over everything that happened within the three months. Um, what else I wanted to tell you guys? Uh, I'm just trying to remember because even though it's been three months, it's been a long three months. It's going on four months now. So, yeah. Um, oh, okay, so moving out of our apartment, it was not hard. It was not hard at all. My mom took the kids for the weekend. Uh, my husband and I, we we were out of there. But it's so funny that even though we did not have a lot of things in the apartment, when you move out somewhere, anywhere, a home, an apartment, you realize how much stuff you have. Um, there's plenty of times that I vlogged in that apartment and I know you guys was like, she ain't got no furniture, ain't nothing in there. Trust me, when it was time to go, that, it seemed like I was living there, instead of eight months, it seemed like I was living there for eight years because we had a good bit of things in the apartment. Well, me, my husband, you know how men are, they don't have much stuff, but I had a good bit of things in there. Um, I think all in all, we did two... If I'm not mistaken, we did like two and a half trips. I think we did two trips, but no more than two and a half trips because from the apartment to here is like 35 minutes. So it, what traffic is like 40, maybe 45. So we didn't want to. And then it's the summertime. It's the heat of the day. Who wants to move with, with all that heat and stuff like that? So we did move everything in. For, I'm going to say April, we just got our furniture from Memphis, so for about a month, I'm going to say April, May, June, well, I'm going to say about a month and three weeks, we went without, um, I wouldn't say furniture, furniture, but we did, because I did go and get new box spring, new mattress, my daughter already had her bed. My son, he had like a twin size bed at my mom's house. We didn't have a bed. And I think if you guys remember back to our apartment, we were on like the, um, my husband created like a pallet with the, with the old mattress on there. We threw all that out. So we got a new mattress in box spring. So we're sleeping on that right now. But I decided because of certain situations, but I'm getting to it. Um, I want a king size bed. So the new mattress and ball spring we have is going to my son. But we did for about a month and some change, we did without um, furniture, if that's what you want to say. Furniture, furniture. Um, what's another thing? Because um, I'm just trying to give you guys updates because I know I am going to vlog and go over the whole financial thing. Um, okay, so let's go... Uh, Okay, so let me tell you guys this. 
around the time I was living with my mother, because if you guys go way back, you know that we were living with my mom for a year. Actually, it was a year and what, three or four months. We saved over $10,000. Anyone that is trying to purchase a home, I'm telling you, save, save, save. When I tell you, I promise you, it will save you in so many different ways. All you have to do is just save your coins. Um, when we moved here, it was so easy just to say, I want it. I got that. Get it. It was so easy to pick out whatever I wanted, needed, because we already had the money saved up. It wasn't like, oh, I have to wait. Oh, I can't get that right now. Because, of course, when you're moving into a home, you still have the home bills. You have mortgage now. You still have water, sewage, electricity, and whatever else. Trash, whatever else. You have all those things. So, it's so easy or it's easier when you already have your money set to decide to do whatever you want it to do. Um, the table back here in my background, that's new. I always want that table. Um, I got that from Big Lots for $377 two weeks ago. Well, no, like a week ago, a week and a half ago. And I just went there and been like, oh, I want this table. Boom. And, you know, so it's so easy instead of, uh, oh, I have to wait. You know, I don't have the money right now and mortgages around the corner. I didn't have to do that. I could just, boom, I want it. And then that was the second to the last one. And I had to get it because the first sale they had, all of it was gone because I procrastinated. So that's another thing, you know, I was dealing with, dealing with, uh, basically purchasing new things because I threw a lot of stuff away when I moved from Memphis to my mom. And then I threw a lot of stuff away when I moved from my mom to my apartment. Then I threw a lot of stuff away when I moved from the apartment to here. Um, what's another thing? So let me tell you the reason why I was not vlogging uh, for three months, why everything just went to a halt, because I really don't want to make this long, but I'm doing good. I'm at 12 minutes. Okay. So um, my son, he's painting his room upstairs. So that's another thing, but I'm not going to go off the subject. Um, so the reason why everything came to a halt and I stopped vlogging is because I end up, I ended up getting sick. Um, and I don't mean sick like cancer sick. I mean sick like, uh, uh, baby sick. <laughs> yes, I am expecting, and I know you guys are like, wow. Okay. So, yes, I am expecting, we're expecting, um, the baby is due in November and let me back up if I can get some light. I'm trying to get some light in here. I don't want it to be too dark, but I don't want it to have like a blur. Oh, that's good. Okay. So I am expecting, we're expecting in November 15th. So, um, next week, Thursday, I will be five months around the time of my son's birthday. Matter of fact, on my son's birthday, March 29th, that is when I found out that I was pregnant. And just like I said, we we signed on the house like a month later or not even a month later because I found out nine days after. So, yeah. Um, so I was already sick the whole month of March and I was thinking to myself like, because I always get cysts on my ovaries. So I'm thinking, okay, that's what it was. So I was just dealing with it like any person would just deal with or any female would just deal with the sickness and just try to make themselves feel better. And then I had to work full time once again because this house was just a little out of our budget. So I don't know if I told you guys before that I only work six hours. I'm still a full time employee, but I only work six hours. So by this house being a little bit out of our budget, my mortgage guy was like, look, just work eight hours for two weeks, you know, the whole month of March, and we in there. And I wanted this house, so I did what I had to do, even though I was not feeling well. 
But yes, I did find out at the very end. I was like, okay, once I do all this overtime or whatever, I'm going to find out why I'm sick. Boom, found out. I cried. It caught me by surprise. My mom was there with me, even though she wasn't much of a support. <laughs> but, you know, after actually digesting everything, I was like, oh my goodness. I mean, God is raining down these blessings. We got the house, new baby. Christmas is going to be so lit. You know, it, it, it was crazy. So um, just like I said, in the midst of me being, you know, excited about getting the house, then there's something else that actually downloaded my brain like, oh, we're having a baby. Um, life still went on. I still had to continue and focus on getting the house. OK, um, we also had to back some things up because there were some other things that needed to be done with the house, like the floorboards, because my house sits on a crossboard. It doesn't sit low. Um, so there was other things that needed to be done. And I swear to you guys, I wanted to vlog. I really did want it to vlog more. But I didn't, you know, and I kicked myself. So I'm just trying to make up for it. Um, but now that I'm in my second trimester, I am feeling way more better. I'm trying to get back in the groove of vlogging more and delivering more information to you guys about money and just what's been going on with me. I had um, a Facebook friend that hit me up the other day. She was like, hey, sis, what's up? I need your help. And um, I was like, okay, cool. What's up? What's going on? And it was about financial things. And I was actually sitting there thinking to myself, like, oh, my goodness. Like, is that my Google? That's my Google. She's talking. Anyway, so she was like, yeah, hey, sis, I need help with some financial situations. And I was thinking to myself, like, okay, this is the way that God is telling me, Capri, get back on your spilling the tea. Get back on helping people. Just jump back on it. And don't get me wrong, you guys. I have not only been not blogging. I haven't been looking at YouTube either. All I've been doing was sitting in the bed laying there sleeping feeling sick and all my ladies know who've been pregnant before every pregnancy is different but all i wanted to do was sleep eat watermelon <laughs> drink water and just not be sick anymore bam you know so and just enjoy my home so i had to just take time out for me and i know it's been a long time i apologize once again i'm not gonna say it's not gonna happen anymore but life does have a way of taking crazy toes on you so, um, with that being said, you guys got the surprise. You guys know why I wasn't vlogging. And I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's been going on with me. If you have any questions, concerns, anything about what's about to go down, what's about to happen, put it in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer it for you. Um, what else did I want to say? I am going to do, once again, a house to home. Even though I have a good bit of my furniture in here. Um, I am going to start back doing some more financial on spilling the tea because I do have some, I have a lot of things to tell you guys about when it comes down to money. And I did another, well, a different format of knowing how your bills go every month. I'm still on my Google method. I'm still with the Google calendar, putting my bills in there, checking them off and all that good stuff like that. But, um, I think that is just about everything i wanted and needed to say to you guys um i'm trying to think oh 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 let me give you this update because i got time to say this so another thing that just happened recently i'm gonna say like a week ago my job announced that they are closing so they're closing down november the second and I'm going to I'm going to speak more about that on spilling the tea because that's more of a financial thing, but I do want to let you guys know it has been a blessing to me because the baby's due on the 15th of November, they're closing on the 2nd, so I was leaving anyway, but I do want to I did want to let you guys know that and it's going to be a part 2 on spilling the tea on why it's been a blessing. 
Okay, so let me go because it's been 20 minutes. Once again, I love you guys. Thank you for being so patient with me. And keep spilling the tea. And I'll keep vlogging with a purpose. I love you. Bye.